I think that was a level up, a level up right there. Okay. A level up right there. Some of you, a clue could be you have a son. You have a son with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But regardless, you want to show good. You want to do good. You want to put good out onto the earth, as I was just speaking of, so that you get good back. You know, sometimes it's not to do things to expect things back, but it's, you know, it's your journey, your course. Your divine will never, like, set you up for failure. They will always reward you. You know, what's good deeds, yeah? So faith without deeds, you know, that type of thing. But you have the faith, you know, with this, you know, this card especially and everything else that we saw with the spirituality. So you get back, you get rewarded. All right. Let's see what we got for the Ace of Cups. Okay, we'll, we'll save that. I think it'll come back up. Okay. Love, new aspects in love now. Let's clarify Knight of Swords. The Nine of Swords for the Knight of Swords. What else? And the Three of Cups. That kept wanting to come out, though, I'll tell you that much. That wasn't the recent card. This was that card. Okay. Knight of Swords. So here's the downfall, okay? <clears throat> With the, so the Nine of Swords here is that paranoia. Okay, I'll let you see that card. The paranoia, okay? The nightmares, they can't sleep, staying up till three in the morning. You're off your schedule, you're off your regimen. Maybe not so much taking care of yourself in a way because, you know, a good eight hours of sleep is always good for you. It's sufficient, you know. Um, maybe your dreams have crazy meanings, okay? Maybe you're thinking of people who you shouldn't be thinking of. Maybe some of you, I just spoke about a son, some of you who can't get over the miscarriage you had or, you know, all kinds of things that you can think about you take with you into bed at night and, uh, you know, you can't sleep, okay? Some of you are thinking about um, being a part of this third party. Some of you are thinking about, shoot, driving over to see your friend, you know, because you can't sleep, you can't think. Some of you are thinking about a friend that recently passed away, okay? Um, some of you are questioning yourself if you're if you're even as beautiful as the next or this person you know this nine of swords is insomnia this knight of swords um excuse me nine of swords clarified by the knight hold on one second talks about words left unspoken and words you know left unsaid but also that stuff uh, for the one group of divine feminines but for the second group of divine feminines words that you should have never spoken words that you should have never said okay kind of thing hmm. okay With this comes a conclusion of something. I'm trying to figure that out. Because this is very, this one has to happen where the communication comes through, whether it's you communicating to him or her. You know what I'm saying? Because you got this Ace of Cups. You got this newfound love. And obviously in a twin flame journey, you're going to have to share that. You're going to have to voice that. When you get those downloads, it's like, oh, fuck. You know, here I go. I'm already on the horse. I don't even know how I got here. You know, some of us. But we have to. We have that passion and love to devoice it. You know? We just do. Let me get one more card for this. Okay, the three of swords in reverse. So there's a healing here, okay, when we speak to them. Here's the five of pentacles, okay, triumph, right, when you guys spoke. So there's a communication coming up between the divine masculine and the divine feminine, okay? I don't want to say that things are completely changed with as far as the third party and the way that he sees you it won't make him love you any less some of you would you he'll love you more but it's not going to change the aspect of where you stand okay he may have switched places with you but that's as far as it goes do you understand um so okay so here's what i want to say <laughs> um 
it's forgiven. It's forgiving of the third party. I feel like some of the divine feminines are getting a sense of clarity. Um, some, some, some people closure, but that's not mainly it. I think, I think the completion here, we got the Hierophant. Something that's going to be talked about, something that's going to be said is a completion, okay? And it helps this man step into his power, helps this man step into his shoes, okay? That's what I want to say. I don't want to say that you're going to guilt trip him or he's going to have to guilt trip you or that he's going to have to pay for how he made you feel here, you know, because this is very, it was very much divinely guided. It was because of this Ace of Cups why things had to come here to this point, you understand? And, and, and something had to be said. It's part of the twin flame journey, but I feel like there's going to be forgiving of things that's been said, even just today, recently, in the past, some truths will be spoken, okay? And that would explain this, these nightmares or being up or staying up if it happened in the same night. If this already happened for you, you were up all night because you knew that you were getting some sort of communication, you know, or you're just up all night because you know something and some of you are like, oh my God, is he going to respond? Waiting for him to respond. The strength, the wisdom, the courage, you know, it's just, is a lot going on there. But at the end of the day, it's going to come to some sort of completion here. Okay. At the high priestess too. He's going to snap to first and start to feel somewhat of guilty and start to understand. Because remember, when things happen with you, things happen with them. So if you hit them up, you know, for an example, right, whenever that you feel like you finally need to, even how many times that you've been like, no, 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 I can't. You have to. You feel compelled almost, right? Something's going to happen for them too. And that's what that's what's part of the, the spiritual journey. That's why it's so important for you to tap into your spirituality because your spirit guides are the ones that are going to lead you towards towards the spiritual success, you know, the love aspect. But I feel like you're there's going to be some truth about this third party. There's going to just be some truth about you and how someone feels about you, okay, with this Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There's going to be forgiving here, some forgiveness, okay? How can you deny this love in a way, okay? There's, there's, one second. Think about the Hierophant. The Ten of Wands, okay? So like I said, he's, so he may be guilt tripped, but he's going to have to, here's the Ten of Wands here, so you can see it. Okay. And I think some of them feel like they're no longer working alone. They, Some of them may not have been alone. There's going to be a tower moment, but some of them may not have been alone, okay? But what I want to say is quite a lot. Oh, my mind is rushing. With that Ten of Wands, he's going to have to rebuild. And, and even though upright, it doesn't talk about rebuilding on your own. So he may not be alone. He may know that you're there for him. He may have a relationship, and et cetera, and kids. But there's a humbling nature here. The divine masculine is being humbled, okay? It's like you two have to constantly be brought back down to earth, you know, with one another by telling the truth and doing this and doing that. It's like... It's like a disciple's journey, and et cetera, but he's going to have to rebuild on his own, okay? Ten of Wands, the Tower card again. Because, yeah, okay. Why? Why the Tower? Why the Ten of Wands for the Hierophant? Because he's going to have to, he's going to have to pay for, for his, for the lies and the deceit. And, hmm, he's going to have to take accountability for the pain and suffering, you know, for every tear he made any of these three women cry. You know what I'm saying? It's like still, look, here's the wheel, you know, it's it's still in um, fruition. It's still in motion, okay? And because the divine feminine is up, he's going to have to play catch up, okay? he's gonna He just has to. It's like a conviction that came upon him in the nick of time. That's the way the divine journey works. So then we've got the chariot or cancer energy, okay? Let's try this again. You know what I'm saying? We know that the chariot talks about um, forward movement. Um, willpower is strong as hell, okay? To keep moving forward, to keep moving, to keep this, to keep doing this, okay? Here's the, the, ta the chariot. And the Ten of Wands, he's going to have to keep 
It's his turn. I think that's what Divine is saying. It's his turn, you know? It's his turn. It's not his turn to suffer, you know? That's why I'm having a hard time talking. It's his turn to, to um, reboot. <laughs> 